Good morning and welcome to 72 hours in the life of a social worker. I felt like this was the perfect 72 hours to do this video because I have a lot going on both inside of work and outside of work that are all social work related. So a little snapshot into life. But to start, I'm trying to decide on like a signature scent, like a perfume that I really want. And so I got this little trial pack from Ulta. And yesterday I tried black opium, which like smelled good, but it's not me. And also just doesn't feel like an everyday type of scent. Though I do know it is popular. I feel like I like the smell better on other people than I do myself, but we're gonna try another one today. Luck of the draw, luck of the draw. This is Valentino Born in Roma, a warm floral fragrance inspired by Roman street style in an edgy couture. A trio of jasmine flowers and sparkling black currant fused with warm vanilla and rich woods to create a scent that captures the essence of modern femininity. What a way to start the day. I'm just gonna do like some wrist, some neck, maybe a little dabble behind the ear. Ooh, it smells good. Right off the bat, I don't know if it's me, but it does smell good. And one little spray was quite strong. So we'll wear it throughout the day. See if it feels like me as the day goes on. And I'm all ready to go. I'm just gonna drink my coffee and then we'll head into work. Hours zero through eight of being a social worker. I always love whenever I can get B-roll because I feel like for the continuity of the vlog, it is really great to jump from before work, B-roll of work, and then jump to after work. However, that is not always what happens. <laughs> and today was a very busy day. So I feel like my most interesting days are the ones that there is like no vlog continuity, but hello, here I am for just a little bit because I am about to have to get ready because I have something else coming up tonight that is social work related, which is why we're doing the 72 hours. Quick rundown, if for some reason you're finding me from this video, if you are, subscribe. I know, but I'm a pediatric medical social worker working at a children's hospital. I work on a specialized unit that includes both an ICU and a step down unit headed towards discharge. And then I also am covering some just like general pediatric beds as well now too, which comes with their own little workflow. And today I had a little bit of everything inside. It was a lot of like mental to-do lists that were all in different columns on my head with all multiple to-dos in the columns. And I had to keep it all straight. I followed up with a family regarding transportation needs. They use a resource for transportation that has not necessarily been working like it should. And so use my little social work advocacy to help that resource work like it should so that the parents can visit their baby as they're entitled to with their benefit. It took some time, it took some emails, it took some phone calls, but got rides scheduled for like all through this week. Got to discuss fun upcoming ways to celebrate a couple of my babies, coordinate with the staff around me, different milestones coming up, some big milestones, some little milestones that are just as worthy of celebrating because anytime that you can find a reason to celebrate in a hospital is worth celebrating in my opinion. And so coordinating with like child life specialists, artists, other support staff to just celebrate with families is some of what I did today. Referred a couple families to different financial resources. There's like several foundations or various different things that families can apply for, some private, some public that families can apply for, but everything has such different qualifications and maybe are accepting different types of applications at different times and like has very specific eligibility requirements. And so kind of keeping track in my head of what those eligibility requirements are and who may fit and who may be able to benefit is useful because then whenever I have a family that like meets eligibility requirements or maybe does, it's helpful to be able to talk about like a resource and help apply if I can or help like provide documentation, help gather a documentation if I'm able to help a family in that way, kind of like guide them along in the process. So did a little bit of that today, did a little bit of liaisoning and family support through advocacy for some families because being in the hospital a long time, it's just like not great conditions. Nobody wants to be there. Nobody wants their baby to be sick. Frustrations can run high. Emotional tolerances like fuses can run low and part of helping families navigate like through a hospital stay can be like emotional support in that way of trying to be sustainable and trying to continue fostering partnership between families and the medical team so that like the priority, the common goal of having a healthier child can be met. So I did some of that like liaison, advocacy, support, interdisciplinary collaboration today. I collaborated with our palliative team for patients that we mutually are following to continue psychosocial support of families whose children are in palliative times of life, help provide some like documentation and make sure it was right in ways that can help family as they're applying for various things they're applying to. Am I doing good at like giving enough detail without being <laughs> so super specific? <laughs> I feel like it's hard sometimes without giving like so super specifics, but I will never do that. So we talk generically. Gosh, what else did I do? I attended rounds, but that's like a daily thing. Oh, there's an open child protection case that I was working with just like helping, not really helping establish a safe discharge plan because the child protection agency does that. And I'm just like the liaison between child protection agency and the hospital, but seeking updates on the 
plan that's established and then once the plan was established helping like coordinate the pieces at the hospital that are required so that the kid could go home with who they're meant to go home with so more like collaboration moving parts calling different people and you can see where all of these like different columns of to-do list were there and hanging out all day and it's hard because you can't even like write down a to-do list because there's not just like okay you do one two three and then you're done it was like do this thing and then do this thing and then do this thing and then whenever this person calls you back then go here but then also maybe this person's gonna call you back at the exact same time so then you have to go back over there and it was busy but I'm gonna get ready for my next event I'm not gonna wear my scrubs there I'm gonna look like a little nicer not super nice but a little nicer and I think I'm getting fed there so I might have a snack but not not anything huge windows open if you can hear the dog yipping I apologize for that can't stop him he has things to say too but my after work activity today I am joining I was invited to join which made me feel cool a committee in the center that I work in be like a social work representative on the committee and so tonight is actually their like end of the year gathering more so like it's the last committee meeting but it's like more so a gathering kind of to celebrate the year so I was invited to come tonight to kind of like meet the people who I'll be sitting on the committee with next year it's an hour and a half I'll leave in like 10 minutes in order to run early and it's at an Italian restaurant called Italiano which I've never been to but I'm excited to I think it'll be good food hopefully it's like Italian usually is but the committee I'm really excited for number one because like I said it made me feel cool to be invited because I was like oh the chosen one <laughs> a little bit but it's a committee that tries to create improvement for patients and families that go through my center and so it has family members like committee members that sit on the committee that are family members why why is this sentence not making sense some of the members of the committee are not just hospital staff they are also family members of patients that go through the center so it's like a teamwork kind of effort from what I've heard to improve things for everybody so I mean I'm excited to see like kind of what that's like it's kind of fun to have like after hours types of things usually I'll be able to flex this time like if I'm doing an hour and a half of work after work then I can take an hour and a half either early or late from another day of the week but this week since I had Monday off and I kind of was like planning more last minute it just made more sense to me to just like not flex time and just take less PTO for Monday because it won't go like overtime if that makes sense so that's an extra fun part of just like being on a little after hours committee it means that in the future I'll get to come late or leave early another day to even out the time today though that's okay because really it's just like go getting dinner meeting the people getting familiar with the committee members and getting to use my like little social work voice my big social work voice my big strong social work voice in ways outside of my immediate work that are still beneficial these are the type of things that start to feel Feel more meso macro in social work like there's kind of little dabbles of everything in each social work position but things like this are exciting opportunities because though my work is micro like individual to family in my day-to-day -day, this is different and gets to use like a different set of skills and gets to hopefully make some kind of change even if it's small or even if it's just like discussions to improve things for people in the future or in the current either one so I'm really excited to be a part of this and it's exciting that tonight is the first night of it and I'm excited to have Italian food the only thing that's making me a little insecure right now let me show you. You're gonna be like, Anna, this is dumb. I do not know how to tuck my sweater well. You can't even see me. Because this is funny because it's just the sweater's hanging low. I can't tuck it all the way in. That looks silly. But it's like chunky enough that if I just do a front tuck, it doesn't quite look right either. And that is what I'm insecure about heading into tonight. So I imagine I'll be fine. <laughs> And then tonight I do need to wash my hair. Enjoy the curls while they're here, but they are leaving tonight. I do feel like I need to curl my hair more often because I've been loving the past few days when it's been curled, loving them. It is quite literally 7.06 a.m. and I clock in at 8 a.m. So I got some work to do. I always come back over there and close the curtain as soon as I start filming. I want to get like towel hangers to hang the towels up on so we don't have to use our thing because the only towel rack we have is over the toilet and like not even high enough over the toilet to where towels could actually go there. Like they would truly just be on the toilet if we hung them there. I don't really know what to do to make all of this better for the day. I also don't know kind of what I'm walking into today. Like I don't really know what my day is going to look like. It could be very calm or it could be very busy and big. The things that I do know of are that I have my long day of rounds today. If I end up getting to go to them, depending on how busy and big my morning is. 
last night the committee was very good like to get there and meet people it mostly was meeting people for whenever I start next year and honestly like social battery wise was draining just because I was like on the entire time it went later than I had thought that it would it was over two hours the food was fine I had chicken parmesan leftovers that I'm gonna keep around here for dinner tonight I believe and then just get lunch at the hospital today given the time frame that I gave myself to get ready and leave for the day today my brother Breakfast is just gonna be one of the like clear life protein shakes, which honestly do fill me up because of the amount of protein that they have in them. But usually I like to sit down and make breakfast if I have adequate time to. I'm doing fine for time. I still have like 20 minutes before I need to leave and go anywhere. Cause two, I'm making myself actually show up to work like on time today, not early. I feel like I get in the habit of just showing up early, even if just like 15 minutes or something like that. But there's really no need for me to do that whenever my time doesn't start yet. I think sometimes it feels better to get there early in the morning especially if I have like notes left over from the day before or something to just know that I can get started on those before the day really kicks off. But also if my work time starts at eight, then my kickoff time for work should also be able to start at eight. And it can, it, like it's totally me that does it to myself whenever I get there early. So I really feel like I'm running later than I actually am because I'm running late if I were to get there early. I'm running just fine to get there on time. That was a great rhyme that I just did. Also things that are not revolutionary, but that I'm doing today. Today is the first day since my spray tan that I'm not putting face makeup on to make myself match my spray tan. And I feel like it's kind of cause it's coming off my neck a little bit. So it still looks weird to not match, but not in a way that I care enough about today. I slept really well last night. We have new sheets that are gifted to us off of our registry that are so comfortable. They're from Amazon. I'll link them below, but they're bamboo sheets and they truly are the softest, but like in the best way sheets that I have ever laid my body on. It's my goal to have like a hotel bed to make my bed feel like how it feels when you stay in a hotel. These are better than any hotel that I've ever been at. Cause I used to like like the crispness. I was like, ooh, I want a crisp sheet even at home. No, I want a bamboo sheet. Truly life-changing, slept very well. But in the middle of the night at like, it was like just before 1 a.m. There was this weird sound that kept happening that woke both Zach and I up. And it was like in my sleep as I was waking up for a second, I thought that like I was making the sound. It was like, you could feel the vibration. It was like, <laughs> and I thought that somehow my body was making that sound and I was like oh my gosh and then I actually woke up and I kept going and I realized it was not me but I don't know what it was because it wasn't like a drill which was then what I was thinking but it didn't quite make sense for a drill because it was like more of a vibration but I think it was coming from below us because then I got up to go to the bathroom and you could like feel the vibration when it was happening in the bathroom floor which was the strangest the strangest thing okay fragrance of the day Look at the draw, look at the draw. As a review, the two that I've used so far have been black opium. It smelled good, it's not for me. And it also gives more like night out, I feel like, than every day. And then the Valentino Donna Born in Roma, which also smelled good. I also feel like it just wasn't really for me. And it also didn't really last through the day. But today, Libre. Let me see what this smells like. It's also always interesting to see what the bottle, interesting for me, I guess. I have no idea what your level of interest is, but it's that bottle that like the, this one right here. And it is French lavender essence and Moroccan orange blossom combined with an icy white tea accord to create a modern and youthful women's perfume. I'm modern and youthful. Pull my sleeves back. Ooh, it smells good. It smells like refreshing. I don't know. Right off the bat, I'm not convinced it's gonna be like my one fragrance, but it does smell good. I was about to walk away, but actually we need my necklace and we need my engagement ring. And my badge has been sitting in the bathroom. I don't know why. Let's grab that too. Okie dokie. Things I need over here to get my coffee ready. They gave me yesterday this little gift bag that I have not yet opened. I'm kind of wondering, I should have no idea what's gonna be in here. It was just gonna be a lot of like branded merch or stuff that I'll use more. And it's kind of funny because it's their like end of the year gift, but I just joined. So it says, thank you for your time, energy, counsel, and care and commitment in the past year, which I did not actually give. This is heavy. A candle. I can't, I like can't identify this scent. It doesn't say, it reminds me of something, but I can't tell what. <laughs> Wait, this is gonna bug me. It's like kind of light and fruity. But it truly reminds me of something very specific. We're doing a lot of smelling this morning, apparently. And then the other thing, this looks like, or this feels like a cup of some sort. And it is can cooler and leak proof tumbler from Brewmate. Okay. <laughs> That's cool. I'll have to figure out like all it can do, but so I think it's different from being just like an actual regular cup. Well, that was sweet of them. It's raining today, so it's a pullover day. This pullover is not waterproof, but 
it is at least an extra layer. All that's left is breakfast that I'll take with me and putting my peppermint mocha creamer in my coffee. Given our time constraints, I think we did really well. I'll be running on the perfect amount of time. And welcome to day two, if I never said it, welcome to day two of our 72 hours in the life of a social worker. another busy day which you maybe can assume by the lack of b-roll but I made it and that's what really counts I helped with some paperwork for some FMLA that people are taking I wrote a couple like verification of care letters for some people's like employers who need verification that their child is in the hospital to excuse an absence or for whatever reason I was kind of on standby a lot of the day for support that could be needed which kind of just like takes time I was around during some like tough medical moments for some of my patients just to be support as needed it was another very busy day at the hospital but I've had like several really good successful discharges this week so I'm trying to like ride that and be like okay we're successful we're good I'm warming up my chicken parmesan right now from last night I might have put it in there too long and I'll sit and start editing a video before going to work out tonight which will be arm or upper body I don't know if it's all arm but upper body everybody has their job nine to five and getting drained and settle for second I was thinking I'll just talk to you whenever I got there, but actually traffic is so bad that I'm just like not moving <laughs> so we can talk now. But we're kind of ending out like the closing part of my 72 hours as a social worker. And I am on my way to a funeral. This is kind of like termination of services, I would say. It kind of just closes the loop and provides the last little bit of support that I can. Two long-term clients, there is a lot of traffic and it is definitely outside of Atlanta. So I will be driving, but I'll be singing my little songs. Got a little fit on, did a whole day at work today, but this is kind of our, our last little activity in these busy 72 hour social work hours. Busy, busy, busy 72 social work hours. Social work 72 hours, <laughs> busy ones. Let this be the mandatory social work video reminder to always engage in self-care, especially if you are associated with social work. As social workers, and I feel like tonight is a testament to that, but as social workers, we definitely are around for more than our fair share of sad and hard moments in people's lives. But I also think that nights like this remind me of the fact of kind of just like why people like us are inspired to become social workers in the first place, because there are sad and hard moments happening all over the world and being able to walk with people through those and be present in ways that can make that moment even just the littlest bit better for someone or even just the littlest bit easier to get through for someone is truly just like ultimately so rewarding. It just feels like humanity at its finest in my opinion. And getting the privilege of being with people during some like very vulnerable moments is just such a privilege and is never something to take lightly, I feel like, or to gloss over. And so that's where it is on us to be like proactive in kind of crafting the quality of our own lives, not only so that we can continue to like feel compassion and not get fatigued in that way for the people whose lives that we are in, but also for the fact of because we're around more than our fair share of hard parts of this world, the two things can be true at the same time there can be a really a lot of hard parts in this world and there can be a lot of beautiful moments happening in this world too and lots of happiness and joy and everything and since we tend 
to see more than our fair share of the hard ones, then it's like on us to have the extra drive to create happy, joy, find beauty moments as well. And so my weekend this weekend is going to consist of just lots of like fun activities with people that I love. And that doesn't take away from how hard tonight is, but it just is the fact that like everything coexists together. And I feel honored to get to like play a role in people's lives. And then I also just feel lucky to get to have my own life as well that has happy moments and sad moments and everything. Thanks for joining me for 72 hours in the life of a social worker. I hope this was fun for you. It felt fun for me, <laughs> but make sure to subscribe before you go and I'll see you next time.